So you want to start a vending machine business, you've scoured YouTube, Google, the internet, reading all you can about people who have started vending businesses, and you're here now listening to a guy named Dominic Barbado. Yes, that's me. Hi, hello, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. But I've been in the business just under eight years now. I started this business with under $500, and I've grown this business to now upwards of a six-figure vending empire. Stay tuned to the end because we're going to dive into everything we can about the vending business and everything I've learned over the last eight years so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. The first thing that I would say over the last eight years that I would tell you about this business is start small. Everyone wants to start with a big vending machine. Everyone wants to sell the best bottles of water out of their vending machines, but no one thinks about gumball machines, honor boxes, toy machines, claw machines, crane machines, anything like that those machines are always gonna be a lot cheaper. Vending machines that are cheaper in the beginning is gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Some of the worst machines that you could ever buy in this industry, I started with them. So if you're someone who's scared and nervous about buying the wrong machines, well, I made that mistake too, and it worked out perfectly fine for me because later on I learned. And that is the second thing that I would definitely talk about from starting small to the second thing being learn as you go. You're not gonna know everything about this industry from day one. You're gonna have to kind of jump into it and learn as you go. Otherwise you will get paralysis by analysis, which means essentially you're gonna overlook things. You're gonna analyze things way too much. You're not gonna really get enough of the information that is necessary. Just like this YouTube video, you may be half listening, but you're not getting the true rich in-depth knowledge from someone who's been in the industry for over eight years or just under eight years realistically. This business is a lot of fun, but you have to be sure to get right into it and really just take the bull by the horns, I guess, if that's the saying nowadays. Be ready for the failures, be ready for the setbacks. And this goes into my third point, which is location. I've mentioned location so much on this channel where I don't wanna talk about it the exact same way. So let me give you a little more knowledge about location and what I mean by that for someone who really doesn't know this business or someone who's been in this business a long time. If you've been in this business a long time, you understand that location is the pivotal thing that grows and maintains and sustains your vending business. But the opposite side of that, if you're new to this business, you need to understand that not every location is gonna serve your business the same. So you need to look at locations and kind of analyze the foot traffic, analyze how many people go there, see the type of demographic, what type of people are walking in there. Are they there from work? Are they working? Is it an office building? Is it a warehouse? Is it a retail front? You need to know, and this will go into the next point, but you need to know which type of business and machine and product you're placing so that you can have the best understanding of your own vending business. That goes into our next point. Know which line or sub niche of vending you wanna be a part of. If you wanna be a part of the amusement vending, then you're gonna focus on toy machines, amusement machines, claw machines, cut to win machines, and those type of accounts. If you wanna be in the ATM business, you're gonna focus on ATMs and credit card processing machines. If you're gonna be in the full line vending business, that's full line soda and snack vending, you're gonna look at snack machines, drink machines, sandwich machines, ice cream machines. These are the things that you kinda of have to be aware of. If you wanna be in honor boxes, focus specifically on honor boxes and getting those retail front restaurants where you can place honor boxes. If you wanna be on bulk candy, focus in on getting candy machines, focus in on the best candy machines. And going into the next point, how you grow and start this business is how you're going to finish this business. If you start with the worst machines, you might end up with the worst machines. Luckily for me, I kind of learned as I went and got on the right track with the right machines, but start how you want to finish. Get the best machines possible for your business. Get the machines that are going to work for you. Make sure you jump into the business knowing that, hey, if it costs me an extra hundred dollars to get the better machine, if it costs me an extra hundred dollars to go direct to the best vending warehouse, candymachines.com, free plug for them. Candymachines.com has helped me tremendously in growing my vending machine business. These guys know what they're doing. I know the CEO, he's a great guy. And if you call them with any questions about this business, they will lead you in the right direction. Those people are not just trying to push P, they're not just trying to push product. They wanna actually help their customers and help the industry grow to new frontiers and kind of revolutionize some of the things that are happening in this industry. And you can see by their website, they're doing a lot of cool stuff in the industry. So be sure to check out candymachines.com. 
and tell them Dom sent you. Build good relationships in this industry. There are plenty of trade shows, events, and different things that you can join into as a beginner that is gonna help you tremendously learning things from people who have been in the industry, whether it's one year, or eight years more than you, you're gonna learn a lot more from those people if you listen, take the knowledge and understand why we say what we say. Understand in this video why I'm saying what I'm saying and you're gonna do a lot better in this industry just because you have information that wasn't available eight years ago. This information that is tremendous on YouTube lately with every YouTuber and every niche of people talking about the vending business, it wasn't there when I started. I didn't have the same resources that everyone has on YouTube. So I really think it's important. Everyone who's beginning gets as much information from people who have done what they want to do and they learn as much as they can from those people. But my last point, because I don't want to make this video super, super long, is really learning that this is not a passive income business. You're not going to make a million dollars overnight. You're not going to make money while you sleep. Sure, the machines work while you sleep. If you have the right accounts, I get it. But at the same time, I am working countless hours into my business. Sure, I make passive income because it is more passive than maybe having a job, but I still have to work in my business every single day if I want to see it grow. So get this idea that you're going to be a millionaire overnight. Get this idea that if you close your eyes and visualize vending machines stacked with hundred, I've done this before. If you visualize vending machines stacked with hundred dollar bills, they're going to be stacked with that. You have to get these ideas out of your mind. Focus on what already works. I've seen a lot of people enter this industry and try to revolutionize it and think that they're coming up with the best thing since sliced bread. And usually that isn't the case. I am not here to be a Debbie Downer, but I am here to let you know on the real of this, the reality of it. I am a realist when it comes to this industry and I wanna make sure anyone who enters this industry understands what goes into it, what can come out of it, how much money you need and things like that. I just got a delivery of 14 new vending machines and I wanna get them placed. So I'm thinking up an idea of how I can create a series of videos explaining how to grow a vending machine empire from nothing. I wanna teach a lot of you more than what has ever been put on the internet about this industry. If that is of interest to you, let me know and I will be sure to publish these series here relatively soon. I'm gonna give you guys a pair of headphones. If you guys are interested in these headphones, leave a comment, say you want the headphones, make your comments stand out. Within two weeks of this video being published, I'll pick one comment and I will send you guys a pair of headphones, especially because you made it to the end of the video. Peace.